Hello, everybody. Welcome to Resonance Arcade. Hi. Yes, we're on. We're alive. Sorry about Hello. that. Hello. Uh, there was a big blank screen for a second then. <laughs> um, I think my PC's under quite a lot of strain today, so there's a... Uh, uh, th there's potential for everything to go wrong, including Sam's dodgy internet connection and uh, the fact that I'm, I don't know, I must be using every single piece of bandwidth in my computer, including PCI and everything else that goes on with it. <laughs> anyway, today we're going to be playing Metal Gear Solid, the original. Uh, it's our first single player uh Go. So what's going to happen is I'm going to attempt to play badly, probably, and Lou's going to sit and insult me specifically and insult the game, no doubt. Yep. And Sam will hopefully offer some Sam's insightful. Gonna... Yep. Commentary. Sam's also going to keep that death stare going for the entire game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Obviously, uh, in order to minimise problems, we've uh, we've turned off Sam's video, so you're just going to see his lovely face for the entire duration. Fingers. We've had a few connection problems, but hopefully. We'll be able to get him back quickly and, and that. So, anyway, let's get going. Um, there might be a few sound issues with the game to start off with. But I will attempt. I'm just getting it lined up properly on my side. They should sort themselves out one way or the other. Can everybody hear things okay to start off with? I can hear things, but I'm, I'm looking yeah. at the stream and there's no video. There's no game. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, there won't be a stream until I've started it up. It's uh, XSplit doesn't pick it up right. immediately. But anyway, welcome to everybody, and we'll, we'll just get ahead with it. Now, I haven't played this for so long that I can't even remember the, the, the controls. Um, <laughs> to get all the excuses out of the way. No, no, I literally can't. I was running around earlier, and I was just I was on my knees, and then I was like crawling around, and I was trying to punch people, and I wasn't. Anyway, that'll be half the fun, hopefully. Um, what do you reckon, guys? Normal? I thought you were always playing. Why is extreme grayed out? Don't, because, because you, you have to complete hard. it on hard first. Right, so that's kind of uh, end game plus sort of thing. Yeah. Now I don't want to play it on yes. hard because don't it, do that. it's a hard game anyway. I actually played it on easy earlier, and I ran up to a, an enemy thinking I could just punch his lights out and died almost instantaneously. It's a stealth game basically. So let's go for normal, yeah. Yeah, yeah. go for normal. We're going to watch all of the intros and everything, and uh... guess oh, settled in. It's going to be yeah. a while. <laughs> well, we're, actually, we're um, it isn't at the very start. There's like a a, a pre uh, title screen cutscene, but this one here is actually not too long. Um, I would like to start by saying that this piece of music, the best is yet to come. That's like the theme song to this game, and is a recurring piece of music with throughout it. Um, is fuck like it's beautiful. It's a it's a really lovely piece of music, and you'll hear bits of it, and it is actually used on the end credits as well. The full song. I'm desperately hoping that, that that sound problem will sort itself out in a minute. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. With what liquid? Hearing the main the main bad guy of the uh, of the game. Yeah, we've kind of skipped over the little intro cinematic before the title screen that has Snake being launched from the submarine. Yeah, um, yeah. And it introduces each member of Foxhound. So you've got obviously Liquid Snake, who's Got the same code name as Snake, and well, we're about to get probably informed by the Colonel what's going on. This is Snake, Colonel. Can you hear me? Just wow, that voice. Here. What's the situation, Snake? <laughs> Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. It's actually Just quite. As I it's quite mild, isn't it, I've compared to his to most recent? It gets. Yeah, it gets more daft oh, as it goes on. Contact me by code. The frequency is 140.85. I love the flap and licks. Push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that yeah, in later games, they got this, uh, you know, the 3D models the of the heads talking. But I have to say, I quite like this, like, slightly ear. anime no one but little simple thing they've got yeah. going on here. I quite like the okay. look of it. I'm yeah, I'm not with you there. Totally with you there. Right, so this is where you start seeing me mess up. And for anybody who hasn't heard of this game, which is very unlikely at this day and age, um, Chris, you... go on. Do you want to... There's a ration in the water if you want one. I do remember this bit. Yeah, yeah, you go down the steps. There's a couple. Sorry, I was I was just trying to get used to the controls. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna um, need them. <laughs> so for anybody anybody who is who has not played this, this is a stealth game mostly. Um, you're supposed to, you know, look. Hang on, can you look up and down? Um, I, can't. I think you have to press. What you have to press the look button, which I believe ah, is triangle. Go. Yeah, there, there you go. go. Not that that comes in very handy. 
Have well, you played it, this wait. game, Chris? Look at the analog. <laughs> yes, of course I played it, just not in the last ten years or something. You know, <laughs> I think I played it once through when it came out. Um, the game is a bit old. Now, this area here, these first bits of the game, in terms of the, sneak, the sneaking stuff, they've got the most business. Like these, these bits with the with the water that makes a noise when you step in the puddle, and things like that that aren't later in the game. So, in a lot of ways, shit. the first sneaking areas are actually the most difficult. So, this is, this is, is, is it a, a case of? Sorry, is it, is it a case of the basically they, they had a lot of good ideas and then realised it's probably. It, they couldn't stretch those out to an entire game, so they came up with other ideas instead. It yeah, kind of there is. That the game is that there's a progression to the game. There is a progression to the game, but it, it's very narratively driven, and also there's there's other stuff that you have to do in the sneaking sections, um, but you'll sort of get to later. Plus, it's it's a very set piece driven game. You're kind of sneaking between set pieces in a lot of ways, and between either a, a, a cool cutscene or there's lots and lots of boss fights as well. So nice. they just sort of they sort of pace the game out so that you sneak around a section. When you get to a new area, there's there's you know an event that happens when you get there. Okay. So unfortunately, at the beginning of the game, um, this particular section, I just have to wait for the elevator. Uh, to... There is no other way to do it. Yeah. Oh shit! And now I've just been seen. Shit! I'm probably going to die now. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> Immediately. But you have to die in this game at least once to hear this. Snake! It gets worse the more you do it. I did that on yeah, purpose it gets more just more annoying. Show you the... <laughs> yeah, I'm, sure, yeah. I'm sure they didn't come up to that part, you know. Are you, uh, are you wanting to do like a not kill people run? Because you can just throttle these guys to death and not have to worry about that yeah. if you want. I might do. Might be easier. It depends if you're bothered about killing people or not. When I play games, um, and even stealth games, I Shit try off. and basically neutralize everyone. <laughs> Fucking hell, honestly. You were. Um, the hell do you jump in the water? Just run off the end. It didn't work. All <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> this is going to be a lot <laughs> of game over mid. screens, isn't it? <laughs> I'm used to. Oh, woman. <laughs> From what, I, from what I remember, Chris, if you run straight up <coughs> the left-hand side and press square as you approach the guard, you'll throw him. Yeah, yeah. Um, then he'll sort of sit dazed for a second, and then you can run past and go up. You might, when you get to that um, forklift truck, you might have to move around the sides of it, depending on which guard's facing you when. And also notice that as well that while we weren't running around for like an old PlayStation game, whenever you walk in puddles, they attract the guards and if you're running around too much you attract the guards you know so there's there's quite a lot of oh shit <laughs> yeah if quite you run through if you run through that puddle you'll leave wet footprints and then the guards will notice them and follow you oh, mate honestly i'm sure that they used to, they didn't used to go around that forklift up there i'm sure that was did like they, a did they have patrol points or they, will they actually just walk around the level randomly um they're on patrols Right. Oh, what? So he was I'm sure he was going around the other side then. And I remember all this frustration. Oh, Just let me go to yeah. the top. There you I go. Could've, I could have been there by now. It's all right. This is all you need. All you've got to do is get to the lift now. It's down. You passed the worst bit of this opening section. Talk about dropping in the deep end. It does a bit. There are ten training oh, missions. Oh, swear to God. The game starts. Chin him! What <laughs> Chin him! <laughs> Dead as. Dead as. You know. Oh! You're not. Nice! I haven't even got any. Quick! Quick, get your cigarettes out, that'll solve the problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, fuck a duck. It's a lot easier in this game as well because you can just they just return to the position pretty quickly. Whereas games yeah. like the most mo the, the most recent um, Ground Zeroes, they've got like loads of different alert states and they, they stay alert for ages afterwards after they've seen you. Well, they're doing the Metal Gear Solid two and three. They're, the alert stage, um, sorry, the caution stage lasts for ages in Metal Gear Solid two and three. Yeah, it's really difficult with this control system as well. I think. Have you got the analog stick going? Yeah. Can you strangle people in this? In this one? Yes. So you, you use square button. You just use quick. Just get on the lift. Just get on the lift. If they <laughs> see you when you're on the lift, it doesn't matter. 
He's done. Boom! Fucking hell. Level out. one, done. There wasn't even a level, was it? It was a, it was a, a tutorial. It's not really levels in this game. Chris, it's you just... died three times in a tutorial. I know, I know. And it's on meet normal as well. As I say, there are training missions you can do, which really, really are helpful when you do... You know, if we had the time, I'd have said practice with the training missions first. They really help, but... This is yeah, the thing Sammy time. has been. I haven't. I've been, <laughs> I've been running them just so I can hear the sound. <laughs> He's Same getting, first getting naked mission. now. Uh, this is a, a little fact that I'd like to say. Now you can see his face. Apparently, he was um, modelled on Christopher Walken. Yeah, he's been modelled on a few You've guys. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> my ass. <laughs> Liquid snake. <laughs> Mod modelled uh. in looks and not in, in the way he acts. He's actually um, been modelled on different guys. The, the very first Metal Gear, he was meant to look like Michael Bean from Terminator on the front cover of that, like the, on the MSX one. And then it was uh, when he turned up in, uh, I think, Metal Gear 2, he was more meant to look like um, Kurt Russell as Snake Plissken. So he's actually been modelled on a few different guys over the years. Um, and then he's finally got his own kind of solid snake face in the, in the sort of PS2 era onwards. What I've, what I've seen from the screenshots and, and promotional pictures and stuff like that, he seems to have aged a lot. It's like this snake. story's been told there's, over a long period a reason, of time. No, no, yeah. not necessarily. What the hell was that? You down one bit. I just heard a big beep out. then. I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. Sorry. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into Who's a monster out there. She's the only. Maybe Hunter. It's hard not to spoil oh, something no, for you because we. I mean, I know kind of what happens to the story. Well, I'll give. I'll, already I'll, I'll, I'll give way, Lewis and then anyone uninitiated a brief rundown just as they're going through this exposition, expositionary stuff. Um, right. So you're, these are your sort of support group. You've got Colonel Campbell, who's your old commanding officer from back when you were in this unit called Foxhound, which is a special forces unit. Solid Snake is retired at the start of this game, and again, there's a little pre pre-game cutscene where they get him out of retirement and say we've got one last mission for you. You've got to take out Foxhound. They've, you know, they've captured this place. We've got a nuclear bomb. You know, they, they want to hold the world to ransom. Naomi Hunter is the is the sort of uh, science officer who's a support unit, and you've got another woman called May Link who does all your save data and stuff like that, and she also talks to you about philosophy and all this kind of stuff. When you speak to it. Oh, I don't know. I can't hear anything. It's gone really loud. Yeah. Sorry about this, guys. I'm just turning uh, turning some Again. volume down. Sorry, I can hear you now, Sam. I just you started to get drowned out by the increasing game volume. Yeah, when there's um sort of synth brass section was playing there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go again. That, it's really, really annoying that clipping sound, and it, unfortunately, we can't do anything about it. Same as emulated machine. Oh no. We can have put to... the buffer up. Uh, buffer on what? The latency in the uh, sound driver. That help. How can you do that in? Uh, there it is. There, latency. latency. Put that up to a hundred milliseconds. That'll prevent the stuttering. Fingers crossed that won't have crashed again. Eighteen hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. I'm still wow. getting artifacts. You must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. There she is. That? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. Look at his smug this little grin when he says that. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your tech mm -hmm. as well as your soliton mm -hmm. radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice oh my God, Hotness! I want to bang you. you. <laughs> All right, <her. laughs> Bit of uh, Metal Gear also there for you. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so. Cute. Well, basically <laughs> what he says, isn't it? No, I'm serious. Smooth well, snake. I'm bored for the next 18 hours. Do you know what <laughs> I don't understand? On the codec <laughs> call, they never give any inclination that they can see each other. So how does he know that she's cute? These visual You're things are for our purposes, but Snake hasn't got a little screen. He just puts his finger to his ear and talks. So how the fuck does he know what she looks like? I have thought that a number of times because it's a it's 
controlled in the inner ear, isn't it? I have to explain that later on. Or did he explain that at the beginning? Maybe she just sounds hot? She just sounds a bit hot. And the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly... Notice how it tells you all this after you've already had to go through a room with three guys in it. <laughs> and die three times. <laughs> First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site. Ooh, and Colonel's getting grumpier. Uh, gruffer. Yeah, the DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting love the DARPA chief. as you. He can appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the team. That guy who does the voice of the Colonel is an actor called Paul Eading, who is one of those voice lot. actors. He does so many things. Loads of, um, well, loads of computer him. games, loads if of cartoons and anime enemy, and sort of stuff like that. I heard him in something I was watching the other day, uh, and it could have been like South Park or something. He was one of the most recent seasons. Possibly. He does, he does a lot of voice over work. He's, well, he's got a good voice. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar. So contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm. Now he's getting away. gruffer. Yeah. They compete. They compete. You up so cold. Snake. Hey, you know Colonel. Yeah. <laughs> Colonel. <laughs> Obviously, by Metal Gear Solid Four, he's smoking forty a day just, just, just to maintain the voice. Plus, in Metal Gear Solid Four, he's like old snake, so he makes it even worse. It's like, oh And it's not. It's Metal Gear Solid Four when he is old snake. He's not actually that much later in time. Whatever weapons you can find. Yeah, he's. You'll find out by the end of this game why that is. Yes. Okay. Well, you find out at least the beginning. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, you might as well just say basically. Um, you've probably heard us talk about this character, Big Boss, before. This is sort of Snake's kind of He's on mental. Now. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just giving a little bit of history. Like basically, Solid Snake is, is a clone of Big Boss. He's his son, but he's not his natural born son. You've just spoiled like, it. I'm sure they explain it pretty early on. Like, um, No, that's the reveal in this game. You don't know that you're the clone of Big Boss by this point. Are you sure? I'm fine. I'm pretty I'll live. sure of that. Life will go sure. on, Chris. Soz. Doesn't matter. It's fine. This is about as far as I got. I, I couldn't, I couldn't work out a way to get into this without dying horribly. There's two. There's two. Uh, there's two ways. I crawled through a tunnel, like a vent or something. Yeah, and I, yeah. I, I just give up after this point. I always go for the upstairs vent um, because you can pick up the SOCOM and the heat vision goggles really quickly if you go upstairs, um, which is really both very handy items to have. Uh, someone in the, in the chat, Baxter S, has just said, what the dude in the middle is creeping me out, he doesn't talk. Unfortunately, that's Sam, and unfortunately Sam doesn't have um, a very good internet connection at the moment, so we're uh, we're just having to stream his voice. So he is there, he is the one doing most of the talking, in fact. Because he's, uh, oh, fucking he's a resident again. Metal Gear solid expert. Well, expert's a fucking strong term, but cheers. Com com compared to us, <laughs> too. Right then. Okay, so Chris, I remember this section. If you want a little bit of help, if you go to where the uh, lights are and just stand just out of their range, uh, the helipad to your right. Yeah, I know. I know the level. I'm just looking around to see if there's any uh, uh, extra bits. You need those chaff grenades. Don't need them. You but pretty I'm, much do. I'm gonna get them though. <laughs> oh, fuck some off. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck, there was a toy in the way. Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need no chaff grenades. I'm so terrible at this game, man. <laughs> Are you gonna stealth headbutt all the people? <laughs> if you go, um, there was a guy doing a speed run of this the other week. I was watching it. It was ridiculous. Well, listen, really I'm, I'm used to watching very highly skilled people speed run through games, and watching you play games, Chris, is frankly disappointing. Shut your fucking face. <laughs> Camera. A surveillance camera? As if he's never yep. seen one ever. So, we should probably point out that something that's going to become apparent very, very quickly is that, well, Solid Snake is supposed to have an IQ of like 180. You know, he's like this elite super soldier, highly intelligent, but he always repeats everything everybody says, like he doesn't and know everything. what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> everything that's happening as well in the game. It's like, Snake, you have to go outside. Outside? It's like, <laughs> Everything because he's saying it for us that you know the people playing it's the game. So. Double double exposition. Yeah. No. no. It's almost the, it's almost Fuck. the equivalent of when a character in a film says something like "as you know" and then proceeds to tell characters things that they already know, which is like, yeah. "Well, why are you telling me this?" There is a lot of that, unfortunately, in Metal Gear. You just kind of get used to it. 
Do you think that's an artifact of the translation of the original writing? I think it's a lot of it to do with the original writing. Uh, Kojima has been criticised by people for needing a script editor. Uh, as with a lot of sort of Japanese uh, fiction and games and stuff, they they don't cut back on this stuff. They really go. The dialogue scenes are very long, and they go into things in a lot of detail. Um, mm. They don't really cut the fat off; they leave it all on. I think a lot of it is to do with that as well. It's really difficult. These camera angles are crazy. It's so different from the modern games. This is, um, I mean, it is very third, per third person cameras have for a long time been a bugbear of many a reviewer um, and many a player. Shit. Um, obviously, this is the early days of third person cameras, but how, how does this. It's all fixed, it stack pretty up? much. It's really right, fixed. So and they, they redid this game on the GameCube, uh, Twin Snakes, which I was <laughs> going to play instead, and they've used Metal Gear Solid 2's control system and graphics engine and it I haven't played it yet I've got it downstairs I paid a fortune for it but Sam didn't want to play it so <laughs> that's why the original is this. the original is the original man yeah. but Twin Snakes is cool I had it on my sister's at a GameCube and I bought Twin Snakes for that and played it and enjoyed it and all that um but I just there's, there's a special place in my heart for the original really yeah it's probably better we play it anyway wait like you up the steps <laughs> See, so my my first introduction to stealth gaming was um, Splinter Cell, which I know the Metal Gear Solid fans are going to kind of turn their nose up at. But that was the first game that I played that really got me into the idea of playing stealthily, because before that I just run around with a rocket launcher trying to blow everything up. Um, sure. So it's interesting. Shall I do optional codec ones? They're just telling you where to go. They're just saying crawl in that vent, press X to crawl. Like They're just pointless. The ones that are mandatory, which are story-based, will listen to, but the ones like that just don't bother yeah, answering. Yeah, fair uh, Baxter, Sorry, Luke, carry ba on. Baxter has also said, Twin six Snake sucks. The voice acting is so much worse. That is actually a little bit... Well, the game doesn't suck, but the voice acting is not as cool. Who's this? It's been a long time! McDonald Miller. He sounds like a... He sounds like a... a PE trainer. He sounds like a physical trainer or something. I think <laughs> like a personal fitness expert. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think yeah. he is. I think that's what he just said, actually. <laughs> is <it> just... <laughs> the guy who does this voice is also a veteran voice actor called Cam Clark, who you probably know as Leonardo from the Turtles. <laughs> All right, yeah. Um, and he also played um, he also played Kaneda in Akira as well. And he's had really? loads of voiceover roles. Yeah, he's a really prolific voice actor. My frequency is 141.8. Sounds so he's like your a bit of Leonardo, in, actually. Yeah, he's like your military tactical advisor, that guy. So he'll talk to you about weapons and things like that, and what what sort of guards you're up against and things like that. Because you can ring all these guys anytime you want and get advice. There's just there's hours and hours of codec stuff that's all not plot central, but you can delve into if you feel like it. I don't think we'll be doing that. Right. But um, you know, for people, I did all that when I first played through the game. So did I. I've got to say, it's a good-looking game for a PlayStation for time, one yes. title. I think it's it, a really good-looking game. It really was. There was a big deal about how many polygons they could get into the game, and it was a very technically ambitious game for a PlayStation game. Um, and it does, compared to a lot of its contemporaries on the PlayStation, it, it kicks their ass visually. Consist the way the consistency of the world and the detail that's in it. When you get close to the characters, yeah, they've just got block faces, but... I think you it's know, the, 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 the overall design, the textures, and the it, mm. it's got a nice, uh, consistent look to it. They've always been um, graphically very good games for, for all the different consoles that they've been on, Metal Gear. They've always been at the sort of the forefront of what the console was capable of at the time they were released. Oh, these audios do my head in. I did try and fix <laughs> it beforehand, but it's just there's nothing I can do for it, unfortunately. And it's worth noting as well, I mean, you look at this kind of gameplay here, this kind of stuff, I mean, when this game came out, there wasn't anything like this. The way that the cinematic introduction with, like, the orchestra playing and that, I mean, I'd played this before, you know, Final Fantasy VII, which had a lot of that sort of cool stuff as well, and it's um, Sing is cut scenes, but this, like, you're crawling through the vents and it's all it's so atmospheric. They hadn't done this in games before that I'd seen before I played this game. It, this, it this, was so new. The gameplay in this is what turns people off, I think, though. <laughs> 
because it's it is mm. a, a stealth game and it's very unforgiving as well. It's not like it's hard for the sake of it. It's just that you have to get used to the mechanics and the controls. And when you get to that point, then it, it's a lot more rewarding because you invest in the story, because you invest in all the different, all the cool little um, gadgets and things that are in it. You know, all of the games are the same. Mm. I, th I think that's what makes it called classic, though, isn't it? If you um, if a yeah. game is hard but it's good, and you give it the time of day to get proficient at it, then you're going to really enjoy it. When you play these games on extreme, it's it's grueling. Like when you get there, oh yeah, <laughs> it's it's rage inducing. But you know they're good. <laughs> how how does it scale up then in terms of difficulty when you go up? Um, or what actually changes? Uh, the the guards view gets bigger. Um, so there's no radar. On, 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 yeah, on hard and extreme, there's no radar, but their view gets longer as well. And the same with the cameras, I think. I know I'm not uh, making it look like it, but I'm using the radar constantly to to run yeah. around. It's it. You become very attached to it. So these um, chaff, chaff grenades, they um, disable. Take out. Yeah, disable well, cameras and things like that, so you can run. Electronics past them. as well. Any electronics, because there's there's like turreted guns and stuff later on that they, they'll also disable, I believe. The uh, Sheet, thermal bubble. That there was you go. fucking well done, that wasn't it? That was beautifully timed. Now I believe if you select and deselect your weapon, like click, 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 click on R1, you can run on these loud panels silently. I don't know if you need to do it, but if you do it as you're running, your footsteps won't register. <laughs> Clever. Oh, I'm not. Yeah, doing that's that, a, like bro. a little. No, don't. But you don't need to do it. But it's a little cheat. I think there is a couple of places in the game where you can do that, and guards won't hear your footsteps. That's not stealth. What isn't? <laughs> deselecting like deselecting Baxter, it. Baxter's asking if um, you guys ever played Metal Gear 2, which I presume is one of the older... Metal Gear or Metal Gear Solid 2? He just said Metal Gear 2. I, I believe he means Metal Gear 2. Is that um, the Solid? It's called Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. It was on the MSX. There's a version of it on um, I am Metal Gear Solid. I am to get an MSX at some point, personally. Well, Metal Gear 1 and 2 are on the Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsistence Special Edition. There's a disc where you can play just those two games. I have that downstairs, um, actually. Yeah, I started playing both of them, but I found the... Because I didn't play them when they first came out, the control difference was really quite hard for me. I, I kept dying a lot on them. This is possibly the worst place in the game to hide, because you can't, you've got no radar, you can't see what's going on. You can come out and, and get caught instantly. It's just... And someone might reverse a tank over you. Well, there's that as well, yeah. <laughs> you tend not to want to hide under tanks. This bit is, is, to be fair, it's quite hard. Yeah. It's just about timing and patience, really. Because you've also got to, when you press the elevator button, you've got to wait. The elevator doesn't just turn up straight away. So you might want to... Oh, no. Sorry. You lie, you lie, motherfucker. There's definitely a point in the game where you press the elevator and you have to wait and you're like, God damn it, and you have to go and hide another tank again. <laughs> the fuck? Another tank with another elevator next to no, it. No, I think it's this, no, sorry, it's this room, I should say, later on in the game when you come back to it. Uh, He's looking I'm right at sure. me, look, I'm, I'm selecting it, he was looking right at me then. You're in the lift though, so you're invincible, or invisible, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I do intend to games. play the original Metal Gears at some point. There's, there's uh, quite a few games I can think of. Is this a relevant one? Shall I answer it? No, fuck it. No, but if you go to the wall to your right... Yeah, yeah, there's a bomb in there. ...go against it. Ah. <laughs> it's the it's the DARPA chief, isn't it, that? The DARPA chief. Yeah. Right, I want to listen to him, what he's wittering on about. Look at the radar. It's picking up she. the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and ready. She's got soulless black oh, eyes. How are you? How Already are you? figured that out. Mei Ling. Already figured that out, love. Come on. You're not very tactical, are you? Tactical assistance, wench. <laughs> it's the official term I think you'll find. Press circle to... Or punch the ladder repeatedly <laughs> until it actually you said, works. <laughs> you said that, it didn't work, did it? <laughs> oh, dear. Um, go and get Ooh, this shit. Bullets. Oh, it's him. What's Johnny Sasaki. Johnny Sasaki, yeah. Boy, boy, that yeah. Built all right. <laughs> that is gross. Those are maggots <laughs> on the floor. Someone in chat just, again, Baxter just said, 
fucking racist. The Chinese have souls. <laughs> 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 we we weren't referring to Chinese an entire race don't of have people. Souls. <laughs> you said a soulless Chinese person. Ch no, I Chinese didn't. I said she's got soul said she's soulless got... black eyes. Yeah, oh, right. he did say she's got black soulless yeah. eyes or something. Stop projecting yeah. your racism onto us. So sorry. <laughs> Seoul is in Korea. That is quite racist. If that's the case, I, I don't know. I'm afraid. I'm, it is. I'm not it's the capital of his, uh, South Korea. I am. I'm terrible with you. I, I just about know that London exists. <laughs> just like this. <laughs> 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 that's not geography, that's general knowledge, Chris. <laughs> well, where is it? That's the drill challenge. <laughs> this is the DARPA, isn't it? Oh no. Oh, this, it's this Meryl. Meryl first. Look at her. Look at how fit she is. Is that a woman? No. Is that a woman? So who's Meryl then? Oh, she will become yep. apparent in a minute. Right. So there's a lot of foreshadowing in this game, and there's a lot of seeing Loads things. Loads of it, yeah, and there's lots of fourth wall. Yeah. There's also, well, all of them have got fourth wall in them. Uh, and there's lots of Sounds kind painful. of ex exposition constantly. This is this is a bit of an exposition <laughs> dump we're about to have right now. Yeah. Who? Who's that? Sorry if that was racist to anybody, by the way. Here to save you. We weren't intended well, to be. It's no racism in this stream. Right. What was racist? I don't even know what was racist. Oh, I, think I think it was I what it was I said. a combination of me saying Chinese wench and him saying soulless black eyes. Yeah. <laughs> At the right time, it just came like, soulless Chinese wench. <laughs> soulless Chinese. <laughs> every, chi racist, every Chinese really, person is, is racist. No, soulless. That was it. <laughs> God, can we, just, can we get out of this hole or is it? This, this guy, is he got, I, know, I don't want to say anything about this guy's eyes now, but it looks really weird. <laughs> It looks yeah, like the models, a load of pickled onions. The models, when you get close to them, that's when they start to show their sort of age a little bit. Yeah. I'm just, uh, I'm just going to. Just going to have a very pained expression. What's XA latency, Lou? Uh, it's just for the uh, audio, the C the music on the CD. So. That's not going to fix anything apart from stream music, which this game doesn't have. This game uses um, module music. Yeah, the Dapper Chief's my favourite for the small amount of time that he's in the game. Well. Really? Favourite? He, he's, he's favourite? <laughs> Alright, yeah, no, I'll take that all back. Entirely not my favourite. In fact, I hate him. He's, he's at best, an acceptable tertiary character. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop. <gasps> stop buffering, you stupid. And what's this weapon called? A nuclear equipped walking battle tank. Does this guy, what, do you know who this guy is? Sam? Yeah, he's yeah, a he's, he, he, he basically no, in the, you the voice actor, gear. sorry. Oh, um, I'm not sure actually. I don't know who all the voice actors are, I just know a all few right. of them. Okay. Here's, here's the reveal. One of the most secret black projects. Apart from I'm telling Metal you about it. <laughs> We've had a couple of run ins in the past. So that's Metal Gear 1 and 2? <laughs> Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? And yes, that is the Metal Gear that you fight at the end of this very game. Sorry guys, I'm gonna just check the sound again and try and increase the buffer even more. I could hurry the Metal Gear project was grasped. No, that doesn't help. Try dropping the um <laughs> dropping it from forty eight thousand to I don't twenty two. No. It'll it'll reduce the CPU usage, which might be helping. It's grown into a huge joint project between Arms Tech and ourselves. So yeah, you said in to rescue this guy, the DARPA chief, and the president of Arms Tech, who have been working on something, and this is the thing they've been working on, and it's been taken over by rogue members of your old unit, Fox Out, led by Liquid Snake. See, there he goes <laughs> every time. <laughs> it is literally this all the through the entire thing. Rex. Metal See? Gear. <laughs> metal Gear. For the new Metal Gear prototype. Metal Gear? Prototype. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Experienced in equipping weapons? Shut up in there. Looks in as well, right in. And snakes like that on the roof, and he. I wish he was. I wish he was. <laughs> Spider Man it. I was gonna say that's Spider Man. <laughs> How does he explain this one? There's loads of exposition going on in the cell. Oh, you know it's not making any difference. Anything I do in the sound. I'm sorry for this interruption, guys. 
Just leave it. There's uh, subtitles anyway. There's subtitles there anyway. Will sinks turning sync sound off possibly help you maybe? Uh, kind of it'll, it'll, it sync sound will uh, hit your CPU a bit harder, but just just leave it, mate. Just this. Maybe right. You have to input. Oh, you mean pal? Yes, of course. There is a pal. Pal. Set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to That's, launch the device. Yes. There are two passwords. <laughs> yes. I just said that, Snake. He's what the, the hell? <laughs> Is this what you did when you were in basic training? It's like, right. Snake, run for five miles. Miles. Five miles. <laughs> run. <laughs> they found out my password. They found out because I gave it to them. Well. Mm. They need better feed lines, don't they? That's what they need. Fucking psycho mantis. Do my head in. Do in my head in. Chris, we'll leave it alone. One of the members of Foxhound. <laughs> that sounds like That's a telephone like conversation. Yeah, they're on a phone. <laughs> Please yeah, stop bad. changing the settings. I think we Shut should just leave face. it. Just let it, just let it run. It's just a matter of time before they oh, Meryl's listening. Has she got an anchor on her arm? Um, it's a, uh, I think it's a like fox that. sound tattoo. All right. Because she's like, well, you find out later that she idolizes, she idolizes fox sound and snake and all those guys. But there is a way to stop the launch. <laughs> this guy's face is so sad. Yeah. It's... He looked like a cross between Stephen Fry and Sloth. <laughs> <laughs> put, a, put a black version. And engage the safety. I can't even imagine <laughs> such a combination. <laughs> You it's like the third person I've seen in the last three days that looks like Stephen Fry, though, so I think maybe I've got a bit of a Stephen Fry thing going on. You look like Stephen Fry. Your mum does. <laughs> Stefan does Fry, Mrs. Fry. I've actually got Mrs. Fry, the book over there. Stephen Fry's diary. Mrs. Fry's diary. I'd like to point out that Stefan is still a man's thing. Yeah, it's my middle Stephanie. Stephanie. <laughs> Stephanie, there we go. You know where they might be keeping Baker. One day I'll engage my brain, won't I? Somewhere in the second floor no. Second floor basement. You've got to try and take in his exposition, Chris. Your brain's occupied and taking in the story. <laughs> if anything, this would have been a good enough yeah, this would have been a good enough um, reason for us to stream straight from the PlayStation with a sound issue. Yeah. Works together with your body's Never mind. Electrical <laughs> Next episode, baby. Oh, we're not going to be using the PSX. Oh no, we might. Ash was next episode. We might play this again. Well, how long does it normally take to complete this game? I did ask this before. Sorry, I know. I read. I read. It averages around six hours. Right. So we can't do this in one okay. sitting, can we? I'm going to no, get no. you out of here. I mean, it's obviously, it? you can play through it a hell of a lot faster if you skip all these scenes as well. You haven't heard the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I think Bax has got a fixation now that I'm being so terminally racist. Yeah, I think all of us are racist. And I promise we're not racist in, in, in any way. I am a massive racist. Well, Chris is a massive racist, but I'm not. Here we go. What is it? Uh oh. What happened there? Well, something bad is happening, isn't it? I wonder what. Is, is he turned into a zombie? <laughs> <laughs> That'll no, be a good not... twist. Like, Metal Gear's daft, but it ain't that daft. Oh, I don't know. Fucking vamp. <laughs> yeah, Honestly, but the, the fact that, that vamp even exists is. Is, is he a vampire? Yes. <laughs> There's always a vampire in a Japanese game, and that's not racist. <laughs> <laughs> that's just a fact. <laughs> Dead. Naomi, the chief. What happened? I, I don't know. There goes your favorite character like then, Baxter. Attack, but... Fred. Yes. <laughs> yeah, sorry, <laughs> mate. Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest <gasps> security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? That's I told true. you, the secretary yep. the boss doesn't have access. 
Yeah, there's um, that's going to become a pretty big deal later on in the game. Have time to debate. Again, now lots of foreshadowing in this. Baker. Little bits of intricacies and conspiracies that you start to think, what is actually going on here? This mission ain't so straightforward. Are you, why are you teabagging him? I thought because I it's a computer game. <laughs> 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 Who took out the guard? Who could it be? Is it, um... It's bitch tits. It's like a gelatinous snake. Gelatinous snake. <laughs> yeah. <Pissed> snake. <laughs> yeah. Vapor snake. He's got the ultimate <laughs> form. It's quite hard to tell what's going on, Chris, but it looked like you were so I was just in sticking your head then. in I the knew, toilet. I knew that there was going to be a cutscene here, so I was just having a look around the cell. It, I remember, it was when this cutscene happened in this conversation that I you, was like, this game is actually awesome. You just looked away just as uh, just as the Bastard. the nakedness appeared. I saw some this nakedness. Is, yeah, well, I'll, I'll go and look the, at it again in a minute. No, this is when Solid Snake starts to show how cool he is, I yeah. think. CQC. Like they make a big deal of it every single time you ever game as well, don't they? Person. This isn't the CQC, this is just him being a badass. Well, it is CQC, but they didn't have a name for it back now. No, he's, but he's not. there's no CQC there, mate. They're just pointing guns at each other. I thought he... No, he doesn't. I thought he disarms her. I think he does, if you don't pick up the SOCOM. I think he actually does, like, grab a gun with his hand, apparently. If you don't pick up the gun, because you can enter this level without the gun, and then you get given it here, I think. Or something like that. I never did because I always picked it up. Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Oh, so the, the guards, the woman. Yeah. 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 That, it's Mero, that is it must be. Oh. It is. You figured it out. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just pressed every button on the planet then because I got confused. Every <laughs> button on the planet. Do you know where the best place is to go? Right How in the, the fuck corner. Do you fire again. Square. <laughs> Square, Square. Right. Is this some kind of a mini game? No, no. This, this is the. It's a. It's a closed off section, but this is what the All combat right. is like. If you go into that corner to the right of the door, Chris, it's sort of the safest place to be. I'm telling you, shoot. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I remember. Oh, nice, famas. With pineapples. <laughs> That's it, Chris. Absorb those bullets like a stealthy master. <laughs> I love the game and logic in the middle of a firefight. You start stuffing your face with chocolate. Can you know, I think they're going to throw in some grenades. You might want to go against the wall. There you go. Barrel's all right, of course. Yeah, why is a lot of ass shots? <laughs> because that's is kind that of a it, thing. Right, is that is that what uh, Snake's looking at? Is that is that is it kind of Yeah. Right. You've killed him. It, it, in a weird way that is also foreshadowing something later. Yeah, yeah. Staring at her ass in a weird way. Now we'll never get that detonation code. That's a terrible English accent, isn't it? <laughs> that's an American doing a posh English yeah, accent, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Standard. Yeah, just think of Keanu Reeves in Dracula. Have <laughs> you ever seen that? I've not seen that. Oh, it's just, a good film, but he's, he's just terrible fucking helped you, and now you're going to shoot him. What's wrong with you? And then, plus, you've got way, way more than way more bullets in that clip than you should have. Now that Can't, was Japanese doing the. <laughs> oh, here he is. Here he is. I'm going Sit. to be a boss. Psycho man tits. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> yeah, I mean, that? just 
about. Just, you want, I mean, even you're watching this now and it's all this time later. I mean, just the presentation of all this stuff and the way the story is told, like, I'm telling you, I had never seen anything like this before when I first played this game. It actually blew my mind. <laughs> So what he really has yes. pioneered the way for. Baxter. He's really has pioneered the way for um, cinematic gameplay, though, hasn't he? I think so. Yeah, definitely. It, re it basically was. They were sort of shot it, the cutscenes, like it was an action movie. Right. Let's. Uh, and I like the detail. Like you're running past, and you can see the lights at the top, but they're sort of see-through. But that's the, the the strip lights on the ceiling as you run past. I just love yeah, all the nice. little detail, you know. There's nice touches, isn't it? It's, it's like I say, it's it, whoever designed this game or what the, the the kind of creative director did a really good job of keeping everything consistent. Hmm. Right. Because uh, other places God. games this era look like garbage, basically. You what? Sorry. Other PlayStation games from this kind of era looked like garbage. I mean, even you talked about yes. Final Fantasy VII a bit earlier. Final Fantasy VII had a huge team and not a great creative director. And mm. there's very it, the the style is very inconsistent in that game. Uh, well, the I've cuts, only played the look different. Well, that was so. Yeah, the, the cutscenes early on in the game look different from the cutscenes later on in the game. <laughs> it's bizarre. Um, I'm trying to get to you, the the bomb guy. You need to have you need to have the card equipped, mate. Oh, I actually need the card. Too. Oh, fucking hell! You actually need to equip it. There we go. I need yeah, to get in here somehow. Just, I'm a dick. They got they got rid of that feature in the sequels, but you have to actually have it equipped and on you, like to get through the doors. Now then, I believe you can go and see what's his name with his blurred out bum hole. Yeah, <laughs> like there he is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> pre Sims. Uh, what do you mean pre Sims? Look at him flat down on the face. <laughs> the the Sim shower scenes have uh, the kind of the mosaic, don't they? Oh, did they? Yeah. I um, I started playing The Sims and got and hated it straight away. They just like if they get too bored, they die. If the house gets too dirty, they die. Like they just, it's more stressful than real life. And it's like I'm meant to be having fun here. Oh, well, the best thing I ever saw, the best thing I ever saw in Sims was um on something awful. The uh, basically a guy trapped his sim in a toilet to see what would happen. Uh, um. <laughs> did it die? Yeah. It, yeah, well, actually, I think he did something and the, go in there yet, Chris. the guy's body disappeared and his head appeared on top of his feet and just started walking around the right. house. Chris, you're supposed oh. to go and get in the lift, mate. I know, I'm doing it. Fucking hell. <laughs> I just don't know what you keep running around. I don't know what you're doing. There we I'm go. the one fucking playing. You're the other one supposed to be talking. So shut up. Playing is a very loose <laughs> term here, Chris. Shut your fucking face. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is I'm, gonna cry. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's this bit. Yes. So remember, there's the little dropping down floor bits in some of these. Oh shit! Like that. There you go. <laughs> why? Why would you have that in a? <sighs> That's such a. That's like a like an evil genius is like, isn't it? Yeah. This is this is this is supposed to be a nuclear disposal facility, <laughs> like a, a real place set up by the government. It's not. It's is not. There's gonna be a um, crushing ceiling room, is there? <laughs> there isn't. Watch. Oh. Yeah. Spice oh, coming out. C four. I'm glad you is said that. Is the entire game set in one big area then? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's it's it, Shadow Moses yeah, Island. Right. Yeah, it's one single mission. There's not like a mission that you go back and then start the next mission. It's all one mission, which they're actually moving away from for um, Metal Gear Solid Five. I think they're going to be big missions. Well, they did it in Metal Gear Solid Four as well, where there was more missions. I think the idea is you can do more variety of location if you have different missions, whereas this is all one place in Alaska. Uh, right. They still get a lot, quite a lot of variety out of this game, but it's it has quite a singular at the same time sort of you know aesthetic and appearance to it. Is five the one the open world one where you're in the desert and you ride horses? Yes. Yeah. It's not yeah, yet I've seen released. Some, yeah, I've seen some footage of it. It looks. That, that's look actually the reason that we're doing this because <clears throat> that's coming out and we want to play that when oh, it yeah, comes yeah. out. Um, um, do you remember where they? Where they do? Right, go down. Go to the bottom left-hand corner, and I'll show you what. Oh, you, see, you oh yeah, 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 yeah. If, look, yeah. if you look at the wall, look at the yeah, wall where yeah. it's different. I yeah. thought it was here, but I thought that was much later on. Nah, it's right here. Oh, is, it, is this the cracks in the wall drop? In fact, isn't the one there as well? I think no. I think it's. I think you've. You, 
You're probably best off looking at it in first person, Chris. If you press triangle, shit, it's just see <laughs> for everywhere. <laughs> And you can't pick it back up once you put it down either. And you have to punch in order to set it off as well. Right, if you um, head to your... Oh, it's here, it's here, it's here. Right in the corner, there yeah. you go. You can see a different colour. Stealth, Chris. Those, those, those stealth here. explosions. Uh, is this is this the liquid fight? Oh, you're getting near the ocelot fight. Yeah. This not is actually quite a tricky bloody boss, this one. Revolver Ocelot, innit? It's not Liquid Ocelot. No, it's Revolver Ocelot. Ocelot yeah. Liquid Ocelot comes a bit later. Oh, as if as if I need another bit as well. What if I'd run out entirely? <laughs> like... I think you'd have to go back and get some more from the other room. I think it respawns if you run out. Because you can't progress in the game if you don't get through this wall. You know what? I'm going to go and get some more. I would also equip your um, rations and your SOCOM. No, nope, they don't respawn. Well, you've got you've got through now, so <clears throat> I bet they would have done if you'd used them all up. If you'd wasted them all, they would have respawned. Otherwise, it'd just be like game over. <laughs> <laughs> what the, what's the purpose of the cigarettes, by the way? Uh, it um, regains your health um, very very really? nice, slowly. It, it it depletes your health. <laughs> no, you need more. You need more C4. I do need more. What the fuck? You no, have to go oh, back. that's it. Sorry, yeah, it's um. We'll show you, you can later see... on, actually. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, see... Just... you'll see we'll, later. We'll show you when it happens. I just remembered what it's for, but yeah, it does deplete your health, not increases. Such teasers. There's a there's, there's just loads of uh, stuff. You're supposed to be a little bit confused at the start, and it things get revealed later on. Forgot there must the, be uh... there must be more C4. Be, you yeah. can't just end the game like that. No, you, no, you've no. no I just I just need to find the room, don't I? Because I'm being a dick. Max has mentioned that Metal Gear Solid 3 was split up too. Uh, I've heard that that's quite a cinematic game though, that it's oh, almost uh, all cinematics. It, well, well, it was split up and so was Metal Gear Solid 2. I should clarify, sorry, there's there's like an introduction chapter in Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 and then a main mission that follows later. But the main mission of Metal Gear Solid 3 is one consistent mission. Like the Snake Eater mission that once you get started, I'm pretty sure it's one consistent mission from beginning to end. Which is the one where you're on a, um, uh, an oil platform? Uh, that's Metal Gear Solid 2. 2. It's a great yeah. one. I love. I do like the platform. Uh, the second. big shell. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good game, man. It's a great game, in fact. I, I don't love... think I could get away with the, the, the third-person top-down It's not like in that in all game. of the... Well, well that's it... what Splinter Cell is. It's, it's no, kind it's of... Not. It's it's kind of a fixed back rear third person in Splinter Cell. It might as well be um, first person Splinter Cell to be honest. They only did it this way because of the li technical limitations. But I later know. on, You're like Metal Gear Solid Two onwards, it's much better the camera. This is basically a top-down view in the vein of the original Metal Gear games in Zelda, but just with 3D graphics. What's wrong with everyone's faces? They all look like they're kind of squinting and miserable. That's just the faces, man. They just oh, are like yeah. that. Here he is. The guy you love to hate. Fucking dick revolver, isn't he? He, he is a massive knobhead. <laughs> he's 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 the he's the double, triple, quadruple, quintuple, sextuple agent. Like he's on yeah, yeah. everybody's side and nobody's <laughs> side. This guy, man, he's he gets he look, around an awful lot. Like he looks like, he looks like Wild Bill from uh, from Deadwood. <laughs> he does, doesn't he? Oh, I miss Deadwood. I, I never really understood why this this dude is is spacking out. Like, Everyone's fighting a bit, aren't they? <laughs> Revolver. The animation's still brilliant though for the day. If you if you look at it, it won't not... be more capped either. No, it no, won't... definitely not. No. All right, this is the fight. Oh! Just run after him and shoot him. Just run after him and shoot him. Stab him! <laughs> Probably didn't need to shoot him that many times then, did I? Do you know, in a weird way, you are kind of better off just, well, not spamming it that much, but you might as well just shoot a few bullets at him. Got him, I think. 
Now he's reloading. Quick, reload. quick, quick, quick. Where is he? Where is he? Shit. Do you remember, Chris, if you equip and unequip your gun, you'll reload it automatically. All right. It didn't work <laughs> last time I did that. Let's go. Fuck off, Revolver, you twat. You have to quick equip it with the, I think it's R1. Yeah, I'm doing that. Oh, you've only got like eight bullets left though, oh, so. that's probably why. <laughs> right, I hated this bit. It is right. tricky. He fucking shot me, the bastard. He's got a gun, he's called Revolver Ocelot. What do you expect? That's very close to the wires. I don't know. <laughs> that's why they called me Chris, close to the wire Seabock. Yes! Dead, you bastard. I love the smell of Corda. You know, that sulfury smell. What? I think you can <laughs> use your stun grenades as well, and it will slow him down a little bit. If I remember correctly. We've only got one. There's a really disturbing noise coming from that trap guy. Yeah. Right, come on. He's give me some more. A, He's having a little danger wank. Yeah, he's trying to... <laughs> <laughs> danger wank. <laughs> this, this is how he gets off. <laughs> Culmination of a lifetime of fantasy. <laughs> God. Hiding? Do I look like I'm fucking hiding? So there's no clever way to kill him, like, kind of, I don't know, Not make this him particular smoke, boss. smoke really a pack of cigarettes and he dies or something. <laughs> That'd be cool. There isn't on this boss. It's kind of, uh, it's a good boss, but it's also one of the most frustrating ones in the entire game. Oh my god! He's always just too fast for you, isn't he? Yeah, he's very fast for an old man, isn't he? That's why he's called Ocelot. Yeah, well, oh. that does, he does suit the name. Excuse me. You might want to eat some chocolate there, Chris. <laughs> chocolate? Or whatever your rations are. <laughs> hey! Is that what military rations are? Just a big a big green pad <laughs> of chocolate? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, you nearly got him. Ah, got him. Yeah. Diagonally. No, don't yeah, run think, into that! <laughs> I think I think shooting, shooting across diagonally is like the elite way to do it, but it's quite hard because you can't really see where he is. No I'm, sure some, um, I'm sure some <laughs> speedrunners got some elite way of doing it. Oh, definitely, no doubt about it. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I, I'm not a speedrunner, and no, nor do I ever want to be. No shit! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, you say it like it's a bad thing. I'm enjoying playing oh, a computer mate, game. One more shot and it's all over. And then it's one of the coolest cutscenes in the entire game once you kill him, so... Fucking dead. Yeah! Take that, Ocelot. You You're fucking. pretty good. <laughs> Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. Same it's code. Been a long time since I had such a good fight. You're pretty but good. That's his catchphrase. Here he is. Boom! <laughs> there what? you go. That sets precedence for the rest of the fucking series. Did he just say my hand when his hand came off? Yeah. He did indeed. My hand! I want Snake to go, your hand? Harder than you, that's who I am. I like you. I have no name. But my name's Snake. <laughs> that, that oh god damn it. Baxter reckons President Baker is his favourite character now. Is that the guy on the floor who's just been laughing at me? going, ooh! Right. Yeah! I'll have to actually subtitle that as well. <laughs> I should say that. that. <laughs> Can one of you guys look up PSX um, cutscene sound glitch fix or something like that? It's not cutscenes, it's but when it's under heavy load. I'm not one of them. I dare not open any more tabs. <laughs> I'm really got open. What about you? Yeah, That's there's not much you can do, Chris. It's just because it's under Tim under load. You. You're from the Pentagon. I get it when I'm not under load, though. What about I get it when it's on its own. There's no time. I talked. What? 
Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. Any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mattis's <laughs> mind probe. It's Alfred Hitchcock. I couldn't weep you. <laughs> How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical. We well, didn't really fight then, did you? It was a surgical like implant. Psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has. Of course they do, yeah. And the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Ooh, sure how did that right? happen? Yeah, I'm sure. We'll find out In later. Case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <laughs> but I've got this implant. <laughs> it looks like he had some fun with what you. What a boy. dick. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Huh. Hey! You're a funny man. <laughs> so the DARPA chief, is he okay? Nope. Dead ass. Nah. Nah. Dead ass. Nah. 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 You know, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up. Oh. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. <laughs> uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally If insane. I was the terrorists, I'd probably try the codes talk. now, I rather than in six to ten hours' time. Oh, well, they want the, uh... Maybe they're like us the arms yeah, try to see if they work oh, first and do a test nuke, or... Yeah. I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war. Have they, have, um... You still have your did we talk of what their demands are? To avoid the detonation code, I heard you had... Or have they not revealed that information no, yet? Because they have made demands. Anymore. I don't what? think so. Not the terrorists. I don't I've think they've also. I don't woman. think they mentioned it Who? yet. A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier. It must be. She said she said she was just going up with a new recruit. Must they be that nice woman with the nice ass. The yep. A new recruit. Could that be the colonel's niece? I gave her. Oh yeah, the colonel tells you that his niece is there. <laughs> he is totally <laughs> shit, isn't he? I'm sure she is. He's like, I gave, I gave this random woman a key, and I gave away the codes to the nuclear launches. Nuclear! Nuclear. That's what I said. Nuclear. Not George oh, W. Bush. Nuclear. It's pronounced nuclear. <laughs> yes, Baxter, I am. <laughs> I'm not racist. Oh, we're gonna get to another fourth wall breaky bit here. This bit with the with Beryl's code codec number. Yeah, I don't have the CD case. When, when you have yeah, a look. so what they're referring to there is the actual Metal Gear Solid CD case. There's a picture of the game, a picture of a snake running, a picture of this and that. There's a picture of a codec call with Meryl that's got her number on it. That's how you get her number. Go on then, give us the uh, the number then, Baxter, because I think Lou's, uh, Sam's is going to be in a I know what box it is, somewhere. You know what it is? I think so, or I've got the box behind me to have a look. Have it's 152 point something. That doesn't help. It, hang on, hang on, I've got the box right behind me. Uh, uh, oh no, I was totally wrong. <laughs> it's 140.15. Why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. Metal Gear 2 doesn't do it, Baxter. The amount of spent nuclear you don't have a codec on the back of the case, do you? They wouldn't do that pain. twice. Listen, um, I don't know. I don't think so. No. Baxter put down 142.12. You get no, lots it's, of it's, codes from uh, people in Metal Gear Solid 3 by, like, holding them up. I've got the I've got the code here. It's definitely one four zero point one five, unquestionably. Essentially, yes, and they're not even doing a good job of storing it. <clears throat> Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several Unbelievable. pounds of muff are reported. Nuclear waste? Oh, <laughs> several pounds of muff. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> There's a large and well-organized black market. Oh, uh, 32 and I still uh, find that kind of humor war, funny. Russian nuclear I'm sure there's many chaps with not mind to be no way to turn. in, in possession of, of several, several pounds of bombs. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material for scientists to make I'm not going to comment on that. They've already been called a pervert. A small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? 
Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. So here's another thing, Lou, that you might, you may or may not have known. There's, there's lots of um, anti-war and anti-nuclear proliferation sort of, uh, I don't know what you call it, rhetoric, I guess, in this game. There's a, there's a very, anti, even though it's a game built around bringing around stealthily killing people, it's very, very anti-war. And you can't do it in this game, but in all the sequels after this, you can go through the entire games without killing a single person. Right. Um, this one you're kind of forced to kill some people a couple of times. Um, Does that include bosses as well, I guess? Yes, in the sequels you can you can tranquilize all the bosses. Right. You can which use the tranquilizer in this, can't you? There's no tranquilizer in this. Is there not? Nope. I must have played two more than I've played this then. You probably have done, yeah. Yeah, Dishonored did a similar thing and I thought it was a really nice mechanic actually. A nice idea. I wish that in Dishonored there was more variety to the non-lethal stuff because you could only choke people, whereas to kill people there was like 50 different ways of killing them. Yeah. Um, hopefully in the sequel they'll do a bit more of that, they'll address that a little bit. Assuming it gets a sequel. Well, I mean, that's not including the um, the, the way that you can take out the targets. Like, the non-lethal way to take down the um, Yes, sorry. Quite cool. That's true. I know, I agree, that was cool. They meant just the guards in general. Yeah. Although, using possession seems to... I wish I'd used possession more, because that seems like the really, really ultimate stealth technique. Yeah. That mini disc. Pretty that's, much. That's that's <laughs> that's the end of the game a bit, hasn't it? Yeah, that was high tech a, back in the day. I had a mini disc player. So did I. I loved it. Actually, wasn't mini disc mini disc a Sony product? So that's a bit of product placement there. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, there was product placement in that Rainbow Six t uh, Vegas 2 that I was going to bring up when we came to it, but we haven't. <laughs> we didn't get that far. Product placement put the, possibly the sound of the guns. Uh, no, it was um, posters around Vegas. It looked like you knew oh, right. what? in various different things. I can't remember off the top of my head. Lots of brands. Oh. <clears throat> that uh, is Ubisoft, isn't it? Rainbow yes, Six. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. You know this is a long ass cutscene. This really is a long cutscene. There's not much happening in it. Just a, an old man who can't move talking to a guy crouched down. There are a lot of long cutscenes in Metal Gear. Not as long as the one at the end of Get Metal Gear Solid 4. Bloody hell, it's like the, an hour. In fact, there are, there are a few films that are longer than that. <laughs> Maybe Dances with Wolves. Dances with Wolves is four hours long, by the way, for anybody who hasn't seen it. About. Installed a kill switch without him actually knowing. They actually went and did it. Injected me yep. with. Was it Fox Die? Mm, not him, Snake. But again, that's not revealed yeah. till the very end of the game. <laughs> but you just you just spoiled it. You did. I said Fox Die. That doesn't mean anything to anybody. You oh, just went. Oh no! But yeah, that's the end bit. Right at the end. Not that it matters. <laughs> Who cares? Everyone's played this game before. We're only doing it to. I doubt, I doubt Lou cares about spoilers, do you? Not really, no. Nah. I don't think he even cares about the game by the look of his face. <laughs> it's actually really hard to follow because it's been playing out about half of the FPS or something. And we're talking all over it as well. Yeah. Spoilers are plenty. Can I trust her more than you can trust me? Get in contact with her. What's that? That's not very me? encouraging, is it? <laughs> it should be okay if you do both. Like you can trust some complete really stranger. Beautiful Chinese eyes. Probably impossible. <laughs> you just try to backtrack that. <laughs> you said it. You can't unsay it. What the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound. What was that ninja no. thing? Are you it sure? was a ninja thing. Yes, it was a ninja. Like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake. I'm counting on you. It's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, oh, that ninja, all oh, right, yeah. Oh, Jim, yeah, send him in, <laughs> just to help you out a bit. Jim the ninja. Jim, ninja Jim. <laughs> no, can't go through there. Do I have to go back through here? I think you do, yes. Although I can't, uh, maybe here? There we go. 
be the hole in the wall, and then there. And I'll just now uh... to your right. If you still got any C4 left, there's another blow up wall. If you go back to where you just came from, uh, through the hole again. Sorry. All right. As if you head back to the boss area, but then to the right at the end, right there, you can blow up this wall. If you've got any C4, and I believe there's some goodies through there. I can't remember what though. Oh, there's a camera. Oh, fuck you. Oh, they've got guns on them. That yeah, some of them do. You can't, you have to come back here later. Sorry, mate, you obviously need a higher door code. I've got two do reflips, so I'm happy with that. Couple of rations, couple of C4s. I mean, the, the camera angles are clever, but they're still annoying. Yeah, that would, that would piss me off. It's honest. really, really difficult to control him as well at times because if you're moving forward and the camera angle changes, sometimes you change directions. Yeah. Like tank, tank controls. Sometimes. That is true. That is true. I believe there's guards in this area now when you come back out. Yep, yeah, there you go. And there's cameras that have just been turned on as well. No, there's no cameras. That's just a guard. Okay. Uh, I believe the room to the bottom right has got the famous in it. Which is a good boss fighting weapon. Good. Oh! Oh! Watch out! <laughs> this is for your cigarettes. You can use the thermal goggles if you don't want to lose your health, but you can show the lose a cigarette thing if you want here, just to show what it's like. This isn't going to be peer pressure, is it? You're not going to try and get me to smoke. No, you, you can go. see the lasers see with the cigarettes. Ah! But if now you, you can them use. Off. Yeah, you can use the thermal goggles, which are much better. Obviously, don't take any health. That's why the thermal goggles are a really good thing to pick up early. Yeah, Baxter, I agree with that. I was saying that earlier. When I play stealth games, I don't feel like I'm doing the game right unless I neutralise every possible guard. It depends on the game. Uh, and I don't like on... the idea of leaving people walking around. Mm. It just, it, there's an OCD thing inside me that makes me want to strangle and ki or kill every guard. I kind of know where you're coming from with that. I'm a little bit like that myself, yeah. Well, you can, you, can, you can strangle or punch guards until they fall unconscious in this game, but they it, they only fall unconscious for maybe a minute. It's you really to, not very long. Do you have to keep battering the, the thing in this one? You can't just hold them, can you, like in Metal Gear Solid 2? You, you press square to grab them. When, see, when you, you run up to them and then stop, and then press square when you're not moving, you'll get them in a headlock, and then they'll start to wriggle, and you have to press <laughs> it again to tighten the headlock. If you press it ten times quickly, you'll snap the neck. Yeah. Um, if you press it like... worrying me. Why, what's he said now? He, he even does it in real life, apparently. Oh, get fucked. <laughs> no! <clears throat> Chris, are you going to rage quit? I was going to say, is that rage quit already? <laughs> 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 Just put the controller down and move back like, I'm done with this game. Fuck you, man. <laughs> Fuck you. Start doing that. Was that Croit Tanger thing? Be like, Aah! Hit the screen, but not when I break the screen. So you hit it, but don't really hit it. How does the checkpoint system work in this? And is it just? Pretty yeah, I don't, it's pretty uh, good, to be fair, because it's so yeah. hard. They have to do it on every level. No, careful. Yeah, it's pretty much every room is a checkpoint. So as soon as you enter a new area that loads, you you hit a checkpoint. The amount um, of times that I've got up early going past them things. And obviously some of the boss fights have more than one stage of the boss fight, so you don't have to start the full boss fight again if you get past the first stage of it, I don't right. think. It just uh, didn't, it just it didn't seem to be overt about how it's saving the checkpoints, it just seems to be conveniently putting you back to a safe area, which is it's quite nice. Yeah, it's basically the start of every room or area that you've just entered. So it'll start you at the door that you came in at. Okay. Basically. Oh, this is the one it's way you have to wait. There you go. Oh no, not that long. I'm sure. This is the one. Yeah. So you're heading back, to the, heading back to the hangar now, yeah? I don't know, I haven't been listening to him. Level one. Oh, um, you want to call Meryl as well. In fact, you want to do that now, now because it takes the time to open the door. No! Right, um select four deck is select, isn't it? One what? One four zero. Shit. 
Super Chief. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that then. <laughs> so now the terrorists know both detonation codes. I'm bored of you now. Blah blah blah, Colonel. Blah blah blah. Blah fucking blah. <laughs> right. No. Um. I think it's. Oh, there we go. No. <laughs> right. What is it then? Sorry. One four zero point one five. Chris has learned how to count again. <laughs> oh, now I've just exited it. <laughs> this is what I mean about the control system. It's like X doesn't confirm things. X just oh. makes you duck. And, you, and yeah, all X, the other X. buttons do confirmations. It's really annoying. Circle, circle is confirmed in this game. Circle yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the standard Japanese layout, isn't it? Because of uh, SNES, I, really I think. Because the, X is, a, uh, the, one from the, the X is where Circle is. The colonel's niece, yeah. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. But just exactly who are you? She thinks you're liquid, doesn't she? Yeah, well, this whole mess. for reasons you that came become by obvious. Yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could it's nice to see a, a female I voice artist other than Jen Taylor That's doing a voice. Call me. Jennifer Hale, isn't it? Jennifer, Jennifer Hale, is that the one you need? Yeah. No, what I'm talking about Jen Taylor who did Cortana I'm and um, Alex sure Vance and every other guys, female character from every game. You were. Jennifer oh, right. Hale's in this. It's yeah, no, but I'm saying Je it's normally Jen Taylor who does every female oh, right, right. Right. game ever. And they're rookies eyes, right? no, it's interesting with female voice uh, actors because you... You think of a lot of men of having these sort of iconic voices, but it's it's not something that's said as often of women. But people like Jennifer Hale, you can tell it's her very quickly. She has got a distinctive voice. There just aren't as many voice actresses or female voice actors, if you want to say it, that have got those voices that are like, you know, David Hayter or Solid Snake is so individual. You know him? Yeah. yeah, it's like um, John St. John who did the voice of Duke Nukem. So there's the there's no one else who could do that. Yeah. But he does a lot of voices, and you, you hear his um, you hear his kind of show reel, and he just like Homer Simpson and stuff like that. He's very very good, but he's got the quintessential voice of Duke Nukem as well. He has. There's a lot of voice actors that I consider to be the best, the ones where you can't tell it's them, but they're sort of chameleonic. Um, Billy West is quite good for that. He does all the voices on Futurama, but you wouldn't have guessed that he does Fry, Zoidberg, and Zap Brannigan, unless someone told you those three voices are so different. Doesn't he do the, he do the Professor as well? Yeah, and the Professor, all so different that it's hard to tell it's him, you know? Colonel. Foxhound and the next generation special forces were called You just missed him saying I have no family. Who's this woman by the way? This is Meryl. This is the one that saved you from the cell earlier. She looks That's what she looks like. Yeah, she looks like a They figured they could help. Yeah, she's like a person now, not a blocky thing. Must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just Keep us the land. I heard it was And the um the red hair doesn't really translate to the new the president. Fucking Keith Sutherland. I still don't agree with that. Sounds kind of fishy. Apparently, didn't he mocap? What do you think for it? The he's playing Solid. Uh, he's playing Snake in the new Metal Gear Solid game. Really? Not David Hayter. David Hayter has been sacked. But I, I've got a, I've got a theory on that. I've got I think. a theory as well. Hayter's going to hate. Hayter's going to hate. I think that that they're going to bring Snake back because you're a big boss, aren't you, in Metal Gear Solid Ground Zero? Yeah, you're going to meet. You're going to meet a young Solid Snake, and that'll be David Hayter. Yeah, and that'll be and that'll be when that'll be one of those fan like spuffy moments that he puts in every one of the games. When the when the when yeah when the Metal Gear Solid and the big boss stories converge and you'd be like. No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidence. Yeah, but that's yeah. I wasn't seeing it from the back. I would have recognised that ass anyway. But I have no idea what. All six polygons. <laughs> Eight. You know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is oh, Emmerich. Alive? Oh, I can't. I can't. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement. <laughs> Second floor basement. As if, as if he's never heard of a basement that's got two floors or something. Yeah. He's just, been, he's just been down to the second floor basement of the first building. 
right. from what I've seen of the Phantom Pain and Ground Zeroes, they don't do that so much anymore, do they? The whole repeat things thing, or do they? Um, well, they didn't in M MGS4, really. Or, or 3, in fact. Is that because they're trying to keep up the auspicion that he's actually got an IQ above 30? I, th I think it's just the reason they put it in for these is just to make sure that the audience hears the directive. It's like, you need to hear this information, so we're going to say it again. I guess in later on they sort of had enough respect for their audience that they stopped doing that. I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. So the one boss no battle that I hate in this is Raven brains. in this one. I want you to hide. Yeah, somewhere. Vulcan Raven. I, I hate. Oh, okay, two boss battles that I hate in this one: Raven and Sniper Wolf. I know you Sniper Wolf's a cool battle, but she does hide in. Which Sniper Wolf on the first or second one? Both of them, but the first one this obviously took me so long to do. Right Right, I'm going to give you a little easy way to beat it. The second one, you can use the Nikita missile launcher in yeah, a safe can... position and never get hurt. Shooting it takes a while, but you can do it without taking any damage. Yeah. Ever since I was a little girl. Oh, here she goes. You guys are so cool. The music's changed. I want to be a soldier. At least she's not like a like a pathetic woman character like you get in most games, though. You know, you can't no, I... really quit. She is a she is a proper like um, hero feminine feminine hero in this. She is actually. I mean, basically, the, the good thing I like about Meryl is that you could actually transpose her onto a male character and have the same arc. She's basically a young soldier who's not been in combat before and finds it all a bit daunting. Yeah. It's not really about her being a woman. It's just about her being young and inexperienced. But that's, that's kind point. of what that, drives that's, her. That's kind of the point that everyone's everyone's up in arms about female characters being shit in games and females yeah. being presented badly and things like that. And it's sorry, sound's gone again. And it, it's it's it, it's I think it's avoiding the issue. I'll be honest. It's, it's, what do you mean? I don't. I can't hear because this is doing my head in. I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk about serious <laughs> subjects when I. Uh, Listening to that okay. and the sounds going on dodgy. I uh, I think Meryl's a bit of an underrated character. She's way. she's pretty cool, man. She's like she's quite tough. Bastard. She's got a bit of a sense of humor, and she's she becomes really quite really hard as nails in Metal Gear Solid Four as well. She becomes a real badass in that game. Of course, as well, there is Sniper Wolf, and she's female, isn't she? So there's a couple of strong female characters in this. But Sniper Wolf, the Beauty Beast unit as well. Beating the Beast yeah, but they're not. Solid they're actually they're actually kind of the other way. They're not. Yeah. Very interesting. <laughs> well, they're not interesting, but they've got. I don't know. Actually, the stories are. Intriguing. I don't think. I don't I think, think they, they are. Done. Basically, every single one of those things. Drebin rings you up and goes. So when she was a kid, blah 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 blah, killed everyone in the village. Blah 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 yeah. blah. She killed them. Blah 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 blah. The emotion that she is now. That's the story for all of them. They're all exactly the same. I think you suppressors in this room. I can on. see something red though. I'm a bit worried it's going to kill me. I'm not sure if there's a camera in there. Oh, there's a guy. He's asleep. I think if you go in quietly and just pick it up and come back out, he won't wake up. Sleeping while he's awake, while he's stood up. <laughs> How do Haven't I... you done that? Bizarre form of narcolepsy. Right, clip it. Equip that there, and then go to your other one and equip ah. the suppressor on the other side, and it'll. There you go. Where is it? I think you've already done it, mate. I did. It's already on. Go to your SOCOM. It should be. I'm going to press on it now. The fuck? I it's didn't there. do anything then. Oh, whatever. Whatever, it's worked. <laughs> now you can shoot him to death if you want with silenced pistols. God damn it, this card thing's annoying. It is annoying. I'm so glad they stopped doing it after this one. I think from Metal Gear Solid 2 onwards, it's not an issue anymore. So you've basically now got to wait for Meryl to open that big door at the top there, so it's just a case of finding somewhere to hide. Now then, have you called, not that you have to, because you can go through the whole game without speaking to her, but Natasha Romanenko, the Russian scientist? Not yet. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry, I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. <laughs> I thought I'd I'm disgusted. Don't be for long with the way you Don't worry, I'm disgusting. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake, the cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Yes, Wait, gas! You've heard of gas before, Snake. I changed my mind. 
Don't get careless. It's like as if that, that would never happen. Maybe, sour. maybe he's as in much as much disbelief as we are. Is that what it is? Is he just incredulous about everything in his life? What really? That they put gas in that room? Why? It's like, like, put your shoes on. Put my shoes on. <laughs> that kind of, maybe that's what it is. He's just, he's just really incredulous about everything that gets sold to him. <laughs> right. Where do you think there's a, a good place to um, to stop? As in, uh, well, you're coming up to the tank fight. So do you want to stop before that, or do you want to stop after? You should stop after, I think. Have, I just... have at least one. Have at least one go at the tank fight, and then maybe if you die, we'll come back to it later. Whoop. Shittest camera ever. Yeah, it is a bit tricky, but then I think sometimes camera angles like this, they're supposed to not be the best so that you, it is difficult for you, you know? It's unreal. You need to be a bit card, a mate. For me. <laughs> yeah, the card thing, it's bad. There's no get away from it, it's bad. <laughs> They should have just had it so that once you had the card in your inventory, you could go through those doors. To be fair, after the first scene, I've only died once so oh, far. Um, I'm doing all right. You sure this isn't sniper? Wait a wolf? second, I believe this claymore is in this here as well. No, this is definitely the tank bit. This is where you can speak to Deep Throat. He's the one calling you now. When you get to the middle of this field, the tank fight will begin. Well, the cutscene, then the fight, obviously. Fuck off with that. What are you meant to be doing here? I'm just collecting the claymores so that I don't run into them by accident and I can set them yeah. down for the tank. Yeah, exactly. Those are they're sort of stealth claymores that you can't see with your naked eye, so if you run into right. them, they'll just blow up. Is this Raven again? Yeah. The first Raven fight. This one's yeah. alright, to be fair, from what I remember. It's not annoying, but Raven is annoying. Ra this is a proper Japanese baddie, this. Yeah, it is. Just a bit. It's like Arnie. <laughs> How is Arnie Japanese? Have you seen those adverts that he did? Oh, yes, I did, yeah. yeah. The, the, was it the noodles, was it, or something, or a drink? There's, just, there's loads of products he, he did adverts for. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bit of a kill, isn't it? Yeah, the good job is a good super soldier, so it's like otherwise that'd have killed him, wouldn't it? <coughs> That's right. You belong on the ground. You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. Mate, I don't even know you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who are you, mate? Hello, <laughs> you know. I... Let's fight. <laughs> Alright. Let's fight, alright, versus a tank. This is like this is like um Die Hard 4, well before it happened. <laughs> Except you're not going to fire a police car at a helicopter. Hopefully. Please don't. Do you don't. want the claymores equipped or do you want the grenades equipped? Oh my god. How the hell it's did that happen? Oh, I forgot, I forgot. You need to use a chaff grenade to take out the uh, tank targeting system. Oh, fuck yeah. And then we're up close to it so we can't shoot the cannon at you. Sorry, I forgot about that. It's alright. I used to remember all this stuff. You live and learn, don't you? Fuck off with that, right? I saw yeah, you don't need to, oh my god. You don't need to collect <laughs> all the claymores either. You can just get the few in the middle and go up and start the fight. All right. Have no, I'm just saying you don't need to collect them all. You don't. You don't need them, do you? I miss this being able to dive. <laughs> really dangerous Pokemon. Yes, it's one of those games where... Right, so... Ouch. <laughs> right, my chaff grin is going to run out if you don't let me actually... Fucking knobhead. That was pretty lame, wasn't it? That is gay as... What happened? Well, a cutscene hit off and my chaff grenade never... It ran out, so I just wasted a chaff grenade. Oh my god. <laughs> you, you need, yeah, you need to throw the chaff grenade from behind the rock and just wait until it goes off and then run out. I know that now.
<clears throat> Could you imagine me playing this, Chris? No. I, I, no. You would hate it. Yeah. <clears throat> There's so many little annoying things in it now. I haven't played it for so long. It's like the fact that the codec keeps coming up and. Yeah, that is annoying. Right. Can you put like Do Not Disturb on or something? No. In what? That's way too advanced for this game. <laughs> that, that requires an extra bit. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just shot a rock. It's alright, you'll get plenty of soco ammo. It doesn't matter where you lob it, you can lob it anyway. Just, yeah. just the whole area. Yep. Yeah. Where is it? Right at the very top, you have to keep running up. Oh my god. Uh, that doesn't bode well, does it? It's gonna blow you up, isn't it? It's not, it won't shoot you from that close. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll move away and shoot you instead. <laughs> Do I not grenade, Steve. Fucking hell. You throw a grenade into the little gunner's hole. Not a clay ball. Do you need the, uh, the thermal vision on at this point? No, you don't need the thermal vision on. Just normal oh, grenades, oh mate. God. Alright. Actually hitting him at all, am I? Yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's like a sweet spot you have to get in where he will throw the grenade right into the hole. You have to be quite close to the tank to do it. It's quick, bit tricky. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my word. I like how being crushed by a tank when he takes off a oh. two thirds of your health. There we go, got it. There you go. Boom. <laughs> oh, I got ran over by it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's one gunner down. The next one's going to come up. So you want to get right near to the tank and try oh, and throw one in straight away. Never mind. <laughs> don't fucking die, though. <laughs> Sorry, just eat some more chocolate. Is that in? That's in? No, no, you get it that's in. Not it in. makes a little, it makes a little doodloo, like a little sound when it goes in properly. Oh my god! <laughs> Did that go in? I had a, I had a noise. No, no. Nope. Ouch! Yeah. <coughs> it is a bit tricky. Um, I think you can use stun grenades to stop the gunner, like from shooting you. <laughs> I ain't got no rations. Oh, nor can I collect things. Oh, <laughs> don't laugh at me. Oh, it's funny. <laughs> Got people joining, watching me die, and then leaving the channel instantly. <laughs> just, just abject disappointment. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh my god, this is such a noob. And he's English. What difference does that make? By Jove, being English. I think that, that was racist, Chris. Yeah. That's what I am. I, said, I admitted that earlier, so let's not let's not go back into that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now, <coughs> one shot, no score. You can do this. Come on, Chris. We believe in you. Gonna get. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, he's laughing too. I'm doing this on purpose. <laughs> snake! Snake! I'm sure they wouldn't be that bothered. It's like, oh, it's just a job. <laughs> it's a soldier, it happens, whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> That seems a bit cheap that you before you even get to the boss, you can just run into the level and get blown up by claymores. Um yeah. I, mean, I, bet the, I bet that catches everyone out the first time. It totally does. Everybody. It totally does, yeah. You just run straight into them and get blown up. You're just following the tracks and suddenly you blow up, you think, what the hell? Right, so do I have to throw a chaff grenade before I run forward? You don't have to, but it, it you're pretty much knackered if you don't because it's just gonna shoot you with the cannon until you reach it. It's not annoying at all having the cutscene every single time, is it? You can skip it though. Yeah. Yeah, and not all the bosses are like that. They don't all have the cutscene. They think some bosses just restart the boss. Yeah. Come on, Chris. It only takes two grenades if they land properly. <laughs> That made the weird little sound? I don't think so. Oh, I thought it did. I didn't. It makes a weird was... little going in a hole sound basically <laughs> when you get it into the gunner's little thing. Oh, I'm going to punch fuck out of this guy in a minute. No! <laughs> <laughs> How hard, a Snake? Mm. Oh, not that hard. He died. <laughs> I'm yeah. sure I didn't die this many times the last time I did this. Well, Baxter reckons he didn't die this many times when he first played the game. <laughs> Just to rub it I in. The guy anyways. died a couple of times on this boss. You have got the excuse that it's more difficult to play and talk at the same time. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> <laughs> hey. If I'm doing it for comedy value, that's, that's the exact <laughs> reason I'm doing it. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> Just before you start this fight again, do you remember, Chris, if you leave the rations equipped, when you die, it'll automatically use one, so you don't have to manually, manually use them. Oh, man. That's quite handy for bosses, because you just leave it equipped, and then if you lose your health, it'll do it for you. That's cool. Yeah, it is handy, that, when you're fighting bosses, particularly. Oh, oh. Uh, moot. Sorry, it's uh, streaming or buffering or whatever. Um, tough. No, I, I, we've got it. We're streaming at 1080p, so that might be why. You might need to lower the quality on your side. You can do that on Twitch by going to the bottom right uh, somewhere and pressing things. I couldn't find it before. <clears throat> I couldn't find it today, but I was on the dashboard. I think it's different on the dashboard. Right, what am I doing? Grenade. Chaff grenade. Destroying a tank. No, bro. Yeah, it's not. It's a alright, Rob. He's just he's just being he's just being bitter because he's been killed a million times by a tank. I know I shouldn't have thrown that. <clears throat> I am the worst man. No, not a stun grenade, a shaft grenade. Normal grenade. Shut up with your fucking codex shit. Not interested in in it. I think the codec call is basically telling you to throw a chaff grenade anyway, so don't worry This would be the general saying, <laughs> press X! <laughs> oh my god, Snake, you are shit. Why did we send you on this mission? <laughs> oh! Don't get run over by the tank, Chris. Thanks for that, thanks for that diamond piece of advice. <laughs> Chris, Chris, don't die. <laughs> win. Chris, win. Win. There you go. Wind is a great strategy. Sage cancel there. The more hell more of I... a tactic, but yeah. Ooh, more Russian. I wonder. I think I don't know if the sun grenade will work on the gunner. If it'll stop him from shooting for a second, so he can get close. It didn't look like it did that before because he was running towards it with its selective. He was getting shot at. No, not the not the chaff grenade. The stun grenade. Oh right, sorry. Aha! In your face! Yeah! So if you sta basically stand right next to the tank and just stand right next to the tank. 
st stand under the tank. Oh <laughs> next to it, like, on its side, because you can basically kill the next guy straight away if you just lob grenades in as he's coming out. Yeah, I was trying that, but it, yeah, it just all went wrong. Oh, piss off, mate. But you suddenly took a great interest in you in the side of the tank. There's no point in a game doing this to me. There's no point in a game. There's no point in a game. Fucking <laughs> games are shit. I was <laughs> fucking shit. I thought that was the end of Chris's game career there. Career. Oh my god! <laughs> it just clipped into view. It didn't even... <laughs> That's right, this, this, is your, this is your time, man. Get him now! Yes! Got him. I, think I, I think I got him then. Yeah. Yes! Boom! <coughs> You're dead, mate. <laughs> right, I think we um, we should stop now. It's been two hours, unless you want to keep going. I think just, that's still... Should we just get to the end of this little cutscene and then stop yeah, when it gets. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean. yeah. I didn't mean yeah, to yeah. stop it now so it hasn't saved this so is I when... to do that tank again. You're about to get to the bit where Vulcan Raisman just just talks a bunch of bullshit. Like you'll get, you'll see. He just talks that nonsense, basically. You got the car. <laughs> play with him a little longer. You would be wise not to underestimate him. Because <laughs> he killed me, therefore don't underestimate him. Because I am amazing. In battle, he is as if possessed by a <laughs> demon. Much like you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This guy's just suddenly got very emo about it all. That's the impression I got from that fight. <laughs> Raven's a prick, he yep. really is. I don't think he's a Sue, nor is Snake, so I don't know what he... Special care. That would that, that sentence was really weirdly really loaded. I'll take special care of him. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have to do something about this uh, sound. I'll take a look at it for next. There week. we go. Yes, more health. That's section one complete, I guess you'd say, wouldn't you? So let me see if I can save it. Quick save. Uh, yeah, just use that. That's the quickest way. Just put it in quick save one, So yeah. if I do a quick load one... Hang on, just to check to see if it works. Do a quick down, load. Down, yeah, down, min. Down, so down, 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 down. Sorry. I want to do a save state as well, just in case... Uh... You don't need to do that. I'm so you don't... Do it anyway. So does that mean you when you played on this, you don't ring Mei Ling to save? Uh, well, you don't um, have to on the emulator. There is there is a memory card, virtual memory card installed, so you can save it the proper way as well. But uh, that's a, that's basically a way to re restore the PlayStation memory from where uh, it was. There's no need to do it if you don't have to. Just that that's where you do it in the normal game. But. Oh. Right. Well, so thanks for everyone who's watched. Uh, we had quite a crowd today, a decent crowd anyway. And um, yeah, so we are going to continue playing Metal Gear Solid 1 and then go through Metal Gear Solid 2 and then go through 3 and then Peace Walker and then MDS 4 and then <laughs> I might uh, have to go to sleep. <laughs> I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to donate money to charity for every time you die, Chris. Really? Yeah. Okay, You're gonna I'm, be I'm very going poor. to bankrupt you on but purpose I, then. I'd like someone to in the chat to uh, to name a charity that they'd like to... Uh, so what did I die at? Apart from the you... Raven fight then, I only died three times, I think. Apart from the Raven, does that not count then? The Raven no, no, I'm, fight. Saying, I'm saying before that, I don't know how many I died in the Raven fight, I wasn't watching, but we've got a video of it anyway, so... Um, Death counter. Yeah. So anyway, but yeah. I'll do that at the end. So if, if, if people can come up with some charity that they'd like me to donate to, we'll tally up the deaths at the end. Um, and I'll donate um, a sum <laughs> to charity based on the amount of deaths. All right, so what, one pence? Or if, if I die 500 times... No, it'll be, it'll times, be a reasonable amount. It's for charity, come on. Uh, if, if I die 500 times and you've set, a, set it to £50 a death, then you, you are going to be yeah. bankrupt. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a good one. Biggs has uh, mentioned yeah. Child's Play there, which is Child's about... That's, that's, yeah. That looks really good, actually, about the video game industry no, as well. I want to stab children. I don't want to save them. 
<laughs> Baxter Foundation. That probably that probably <laughs> didn't uh, didn't come across very well then. Sorry. <laughs> if you've I watched any of our knows. other shows, you may have. Uh, yeah. You may have yeah. noticed that. Anyway, so, so yeah, yeah. We, we're gonna we're gonna continue playing through all of this, um, and we're just gonna see how it goes. I think. Yeah. What do you want to say, Lou? That's it. No, that's, that's it. Basically. You want, you want to say anything, Sam, before we go? Anything fun coming up in the in the game that I can't remember? I know we go into the um, facility here, and oh, there's just... so many things. This is this is where the, the ninja fight's coming up fairly soon, and that's one of my favorite bits. So yeah, 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 man. This is one of those games where there's always something cool coming up. Like there's always it's, something it's, cool. I think it's quite good to watch as well. It's probably better to watch than play. I'll be honest. <laughs> Depending <laughs> if it well, depends if you. I have to. Like when I'm watching kind of you game. play, I kind of want to jump in and take over the controller, but I reckon I'd be rubbish as well because I've it's, not played it in so long. It's hard. It is It is really hard to control. And it's the same with all old games, though. Like, if you played any, like, Commodore 64 game, you know, your, your character's not pixel perfect. I know this is quite mm. far on, but when you when you compare it to Ground Zeroes, the latest game, it is, it's so utterly different, you know? There's so much... There's so much fidelity in the newer stuff in comparison to this. And you can do all kinds of different things. Like, you can do dives from Metal Gear Solid 2 onwards, I think. I think Snake... Yeah, you could do rolls, yeah. Like a snake, a... you could do a roll, but um, riding, you did, like, a cartwheel. Cartwheel, you? yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, I am... Uh, we're going to be playing, after this game, we're going to be playing the uh, Metal Gear Solid HD collection, uh, which is Metal Gear Solid 2, 3, and Peace Walker. I do have Substance and Subsistence... Uh, of of both of those as well. I don't know if we should play those instead. Um, Sam, but... I believe I be the only issue is is that in sub in Metal Gear Solid Three in subsistence, you've got free control over the third person camera. But I believe that is in the HD version of Metal Gear Solid Three. It makes that game a hell of a lot more playable. But it's not the top down view. You've got proper third. You can move the the camera with your right analog stick, which is basically makes the game twenty think... times better. I think Substance and Subsistence are on the PS2 anyway, aren't they? Uh, yes. And if they are, then this is on the PS3, so I've actually got... It's, uh, we can only play that one. <laughs> anyway, I, th I think the HD it, collection will be fine. Uh, the amount of setup that I've had to do for the, getting the PlayStation working, it's it makes sense for us to play the, the HD version. Right, so, yes, thanks, everybody, and uh, we shall see you uh, Wednesday, 6.30. We've got on... Um, uh, our normal gaming talk moments. show and it's gaming moments and we are compiling a list of uh, YouTube videos to show people and I'm sure we'll have a good uh, a good time doing that and we'll have a lot of good talking about Chris's psycho man tits yes hey. well, well maybe maybe right um, <laughs> goodbye everyone catch you later, you later. love you bye bye <laughs>